I'm Jared. We're here at La Spalle restaurant, and today we're making a cucumber tea sandwich. First, we're going to pre prepare the filling. I have a softened cream cheese. I'm going to take some chopped chives. Next, we're going to do a zested lemon. You only need about half the lemon for this, about two cups of uh, softened cream cheese. And then I'll give about two good pinches of salt. Simple as that. It's all stirred together. Next, I'm going to slice our white bread. You want to slice it on the thinner side. Once I have the bread sliced, set that aside. Um, I then take a nice mini offset spatula and I spread a thin layer of cream cheese mixture. You don't have to worry about being too neat on the edges, being that we're going to trim off the crust at the end. Next, we're going to prepare the cucumber. Uh, for this, I find the best use is a mandolin. I slice the cucumber long enough so that when you put it on an angle, it will cover the entire slice of bread. See. You want to leave the skin on, this way you get that nice green color. When you fan these out, you can take them one by one, just like this. When you overlap these, you want to attempt to cover the seated area on the next cucumber. This is going to give you even layers and also the cleanest aesthetic finish. Once your whole sandwich is covered, I like to give the sandwich a little bit of a press. This way when you slice and trim the edges, um, the cucumbers have a tendency to stick and not shift around too much. Uh, from here I have a nice sharp knife. It helps if it's a thin blade. Depending on how small you want to go, bring it down. Here I have two sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Now there's various ways you can finish these. Classic way, I have a little bit of uh, whipped creme fraiche. Throw some creme fraiche in a bowl, whisk it up, and it thickens up really quickly. And I'll put that in a piping bag with just a small plain tip. And then I have some pieces of chervil. Just give a little garnish. And here you are, a classic cucumber tea sandwich.